Hello everyone, I'm your host Akuma, and welcome back to another episode of Spyro A Hero's Tale. Last time, almost done. Almost done. Almost done. Almost done. We're heading to what I hope is a new area. Again, left only one thing behind, which seems to be the case all the freaking time. But we're almost done with this game. We're heading into this new area, which seems like it could be a boss level. I'm hoping it's not, but I can't even fly over here because the game hates me, so Spyro will never be able to figure it out on its own. Kind of reminds me of some of those old games that I have on the box. There's a big trouble in here, and the protagonist name here needs your help! He doesn't need my help, he's a protagonist. He's a whole lot more capable than I am, apparently. Didn't notice that these rocks were floating last time, but I did this time, so hallelujah. Alright, where are we going? Very, very... Very slowly. Wow, this is tedious. This can't be hiding a loading screen. No way. And we got a big old construction area, which is kind of cool, and it reminds me a little bit of the first game. I think there was something like this for Nasty Nork. But he's dead again, I assume. And still nothing on the map. We have more dark crystals. Are those going to be like the last dark crystals, and now the gate will open? Because if so, that would be kind of lame. I suddenly have a new quest. Uh, okay, Dark Mine. One last area. There are two Dark Crystals, five eggs, six Light Gems, and one Blink Mission. I know it. I know it! I'm gonna hate this place. It's really cool, though. If they're going to put a mole character in the game and have his own special section, it has to be in the mine. There is no way it could be Sergeant Bird. Not really the most appropriate for Hunter, I think. So, it would make the most sense for Blinks in particular to be here. And that's a good idea. The only problem is... I hate Blinks missions. <laughs> and I know it's, his name is actually Blink and not Blinks, but it's just... Eh. Easier to say than Blink. Oh boy, how many? 45?! The last area in the game, last area, requires 45 light gems. I'm glad I was able to get in here without too much trouble, but it requires 45 in the last area of the game. This is probably going to leave me this some collectible and not red super secret lair. I guess they could do that and make you feel special, like, yeah, I was able to open one secret door that was required. But why would you even block this off in the first place? Are you just making sure that the player attempted to collect stuff in that case? Eh? I know I get ranty about stuff in this game a lot, but my gosh, what even? It's fine, though. It's fine. I'm fine. We were able to access it, and that's okay. We were able to access it without any problems whatsoever. I'm gonna hate this, aren't I? I'm gonna hate this so freaking much. Alright, let's go. Smash up whatever we can find, and hope that our invincibility doesn't run out. Okay, well, we found a light gem. Come on now. Don't do this to me. Spyro. Okay, it lasts for a long time anyway. I can probably destroy this one. If Spyro would cooperate. We've got less than half of our invincibility left. Let's go back all the way. There's also an egg. I saw it. Don't tell me it wasn't there, because I saw that thing. I'm okay with this. I'm, I'm okay. It's coming down here collecting stuff. And did he take damage from running into one of those bubbles earlier? He's invincible. This should not be a thing. I don't know why the bubbles are acting like solid objects. Because that sounds really freaking stupid. But that's everything in this new area. Except for what's immediately below here. Why? Hold on. I feel another ranting coming. They set this all up, 
like there could be something down here. They bothered to model that, and they still said no. Maybe it's possible. Completely possible. I can understand this concept. It's possible that they made that to say, hey, here's something if you want to put something little back here if we still need one more hiding place, but they already got all the hiding places and they right before the game came out and they said, no, we just never use that. And he's like, okay, no big deal. But they didn't bother to take it out and now it's still in there and it's like, what's the purpose of this? But I don't mind. That's one extra thing that we can be sure we don't need to explore whenever there's one thing left. And I'm fine with this. Sparks, eat up. Eat up more. Get that thing. Suddenly I've lost my butterfly jar. Why did I lose my butterfly jar? I need to go back. Buy another butterfly jar. Because for some reason I'm suddenly missing mine. I've already bought the butterfly jar, but I'm used to seeing it in the bottom left corner of the screen. No big deal. I'm just going to die on my own here. See, I don't have any health left, even though I just... You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do this. Just figure out this area. Yeah, there we go. What was that? I didn't even, I didn't have him spin around and he spun around. What I'm going to do... I'm going to clear out this area of enemies. Just completely clear it out. That's fine. Now I come back over here. Get this stuff. Hey, look at this giant clear area where I will not lose any health. Look at this area right here, which is, for some reason, really cheap and takes away your health. Now I have full health. That's great. I'm ready to go, and the path ahead of me is clear. Now I'm going to buy a butterfly jar, which I guess is not a big deal, because I have been saying gems are entirely pointless, and I have over 21,000 of them, and it only costs about 2,000 to get another butterfly jar. No big deal. If you don't want to buy the butterfly jars, and you're trying to do a no-death run, which sounds painful, That part just seems really, really cheap. Hi, guys! Here's Spyro the Dragon. I just realized this is a dragon in a mine. This can only lead to heartache. Although, I guess it would be a good idea. Hi there. I don't even need you. Why are you here? I don't need you. Wait. Hold on. I'm not even going to question it. That's a small dark crystal that we don't need to worry about. And it would make sense for me to just leave it alone, because those things only give you gems. Which means I don't need to be concerned about it. Looks like a pretty annoying glitch in the game, if that's what is going on here. However, I uh, do not care. So I will let it go. In the meantime, I'm going to jump up here and get shot. Told you. Because there might be something special up here. There it is. Oh good. Please don't be gems. Don't be gems. Don't be gems. Fingers crossed. No gems. No gems. No gems. Dragon egg. I mean it could be a light gem. That'd be fine. But dragon egg. That feels good. Wow. That was really well hidden. And I got it. On my own. Just fine. Don't need comments help for that one. Thanks game. Appreciate it. Okay, got a really good view of Tinkerbell's butt right there for a moment. Okay, it took you long enough to eat that, didn't it? Okay. Um. Whoops. No, 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 no. I thought I could... Huh. I thought there was something else up there. Hold on. Let me... No. Okay. I think we're fine here. There's that guy who can already try shooting me. Let's actually... There we go. Don't need to get close to him. Just stay back. He was shooting kind of slow. That looks like a nightmare waiting to happen. Up there. That's where I need to go next. I need to get on top. Somehow get over to that platform and fly around. Okay. I... 
getting familiar with this area, I'm not leaving until I get that gem. Unless it's extremely cheap. Come on, can you not... Oh, these, he can't jump on these ones, he has to jump on these ones because they have a flat surface on them. Okay. We'll do that then! Now, how do I get over there? I didn't think the game would let me do that. It's what should happen. But the game doesn't want me to do it that way. I can't really fit through here. Is that over there, though? Do these platforms move when you stand on them? Because if so, that's the key. This one isn't moving. It looks like I can jump over here. I can. Whew! Alright. Um, I know things won't be in a minute, so it's not like I'm going to jinx myself by saying it, but things are going pretty alright at the moment. Also kind of feels like this should be in a Sly Cooper game, but okay. Alright. Now time for this madness. Have I left anything behind? I have not. At least from what I can tell. There's only one shop ahead of me. Okay, charging is not the way to do that. How about we try jumping around at first? Oops. That was... Hmm. Should have double jumped. Yeah, much better. And we're causing a cave-in by attacking these things. All right. Boy, she looked really depressed there for a second. Maybe she's just claustrophobic. This is not really a place where you'd expect to find fairies, so, you know. It's entirely possible somebody else could get in that thing. Where are they shooting at? Huh. Maybe I can sneak around him to attack? Yeah, I'm not sure what he's supposed to be attacking, and it shouldn't be me! It shouldn't be me! I guess from here, maybe I can... Come on. I can't get in there, alright. Well, no big deal. And I can't use this one either. Okay, at least from what I can tell. Things seem to be okay. They look like natives. Not anyone not anyone related to red. There's that cage above me, which I'm concerned could drop on me, but it didn't. Yeah, that really looks like it should have been a trap. I can get over here anyway. I feel like there's something in this area I'm missing. I'm not quite sure where that pipe is I broke, but I'm looking around very carefully because I feel like there's something. This is the way I came in. Doesn't seem to be anything standing out. And I can't jump into the first one either, so that's fine. I don't know. It's probably nothing, but I got a really strong feeling that I'm missing something important. I knew it. I freaking knew it. Okay, it's probably heaven for him in this area right now. If I go on ahead... Still a ways to go. Alright. Fingers crossed. This is the last one. Normally, I'd be freaking out right now. Desperate to get underground. But for some reason, I don't feel that bad. Maybe that's because you're already underground. Hey, you're right. Should I explore below ground? <laughs> hey, you're kind of already in the same area for that, but sure. We'll get this over with, and I never have to worry about it again. I hope no viewers out there are laughing at me for saying that. Okay, explore the underground tunnels. Throw bombs with R1. Do I have any bombs? I don't currently. <laughs> Okay. These ones are not affected by my blaster, which I have found I forget quite often. 
Those ones neither. There's this over here, which I guess will destroy just to say there's nothing left in this area. All behind me from this angle looks good. Free to carry on. That is not moving. But I still died anyway. I didn't die! Oh, there's stuff behind me too. Okay. Well, maybe it will be useful. No, don't shoot the boxes, you idiot. Quit shooting the boxes. Okay, we need bombs. Have not seen a bomb dispenser yet. That's kind of bad. Right? It's R1? No. R1 is uh, goggles. L1 is bombs. Pretty sure. Unless it's... Nope, it's not the two buttons either. We still have the full butterfly thing going on. Come on. Smash it. Are you so incapable of... Alright, we do need bombs for these. But that is one of them. We did technically find our first one. This is not where a mole should be. Okay, I can't destroy that thing with a the blaster. There's no place for me to stand on to punch it, so I do need bombs. Fortunately... I was able to recognize that I'm dead. That there is that thing up there, which seems to be taking me somewhere else, if I can get up to it. Problem being, I can't get onto this first platform. Lynx absolutely refuses to grab onto it. Okay, yeah. And of course he's not going to climb. Of course. Looks good. Alright. Can I get up there? Of course not. Alright, one jump to get up. That's important, too. I can see another dark crystal, maybe two. There might have been one below me, or it was a spider. Oh, there is another one down there. So it wasn't a spider. They wouldn't put them that close together, unfortunately. Make these missions so much more tolerable. Oh, hey, now, come back. Whoops. Double jump wasn't working. Double jump wasn't working. I'm down here now. I'm down here now. There's some bombs. Let's get the bombs. Hey, guys. How's it going? Alright, so you have to find bombs in this area. That's different from the other ones, and I don't dislike it. I dislike the Blinks missions, but I don't dislike what they did for this one. That's kind of clever, I guess. Yay, I got him. And the spiders do shoot their web stuff, but... Oh, hey. You can also use your dashing claw attack. Well, duh, but... It's not that strong compared to the blaster. Or is reliable. In the blaster, you have to get right up in their face. And it shoots a lot faster than I can punch. So, yeah, not gonna do that if you don't mind. That was a terrible throw. Okay, there, it is fortunate that there are some bats above me. Are you incapable of shooting him? You are capable! Start! I don't know if that actually does anything. We'll just put another one over here, not for the gems, but to get rid of another blaster target. I'm gonna jump up here before I check for spiders. For the bane of my existence, I swear. Now I've got bombs. I have to go back over there. And I don't think that there were any on top. Pretty sure there weren't, but now I have to do this entire thing all over again. Screw you! Oh no, wait, I don't. I restart over here where I had the bombs. Okay, that's a little bit more tolerable. Okay, so, based on that jump, they really want to try to kill you in this mission. You can barely make these jumps, and you have to get over there. Thankfully, they give you at least a bomb dispenser checkpoint. But this is not fair at all. Now 
No, I think I'd be a whole lot pissed off about every single death that I've been having if there was the fact that these spiders didn't respawn every single time and you have to take the time to kill them in order to even make your first attempt over here. It's just... TEDIOUS! Oh my gosh, I made it. I do not know how many attempts there were. I do not have the patience to count. I better not die. Quit shooting at the inanimate objects. Kill the spider. If that spider hurts you and kills you and is responsible in some way for your death. I'm putting the blame on you. Although I put the blame on him for every freaking thing I can. Because I hate him and his missions. Actually, I hate him for his missions. That's what I should say. I probably would hate Blinks a lot less if his missions were fun. They're not fun. Okay. No more Dark Crystals down here? I hope not. There might have been one or two left back in that spider area. Whatever! Are you taking me back to the other side? No. Straight up. Straight up. Take me straight up. Take me straight up. Drop me off. Good boy. Alright. So far... Things are the best they've ever been. I know I'm going to die because I said that, but currently speaking, things are the best they've ever been. And I'm content for that. Two dark crystals destroyed. One of them might have been from the spider area, and I'm okay with that. Now that I have bombs, anything in this area Okay, nothing up here. There might be something up here. Looking for a dig spot. Looking for a dig spot. Because I have overlooked those far too easily in the past. Okay, there might be one immediately below me. Not concerned! Okay, now I have to wait for that to come back. Okay, the mistake I made last time was double jumping onto that thing. So, I need to do a single jump. And if I fall down, or die... I have to do this entire thing all over again. I'm on. Okay. This is a good start. We're on this side. Even better. I know how the stomp works. But for some reason the stomp isn't working. Things are fine so far. I don't understand why! <laughs> Okay, there's a dig spot to go into a new area. So this hellhole isn't over yet. Give me the junk. Thank you. Alright, I'm pretty sure there is no more dark crystal below me. So we're fine to go in here next. The really scary thing is that I have to do all of this over again for a light gem. I don't really care about the dragon eggs. Because the dragon eggs is just... Unlock this extra. You can play as this character. You unlocked bonus art. You can play the mini games. Which is incredibly stupid because one of those mini game options is the blink mini games. And... Why? <laughs> why would you want to unlock the blink mini games? Unless they're different from these worlds. They're little monstrous, disgusting ideas of what counts as fun. I don't know why you would want to play more Blink games. Because there is no happiness in the Blink games. At least that was a little bit satisfying. Okay, plant another bomb. Punch the crap out of these things. What nightmare awaits me ahead? I see you guys over there. And Blink is again incapable of knowing how to use his blaster appropriately. Which is not surprising, considering he likes being down here. It's just wearisome. 
I assume most people know that I'm usually quite positive in my videos. So this degree of negativity is quite exhausting. And I don't want to be negative. I want this to be a game I like. But there are times, particular sections, moments of aggravation. They come up from time to time. And I have to deal with them. And I don't want to deal with them. And the degree of which it frustrates me gets to the point where there's just so much hatred coming out that I'm exhausted. And I don't want to play this game anymore. It's because of moments like this, I can't wait for this game to be over. And I have tried so freaking hard to enjoy it. There are certain areas that are fun. Most of the spiral levels. A couple of the Sergeant Bird spots. Hunter has been, for the most part, enjoyable. These controls are just not refined. I don't want to hate this game. I don't want to hate this game. I just hate certain elements of this game. Now I've dropped three bombs. Or I've dropped so many bombs that I have three left. And this presents a little bit of a problem. Because Blinks does not have a good throwing arm. And I need to get a bomb onto that wall. Now, is it possible to jump onto this? It is not. Don't do this to me. It looks like there's a ledge down there. Yee. Flighty controls can't tell where I am in relation to the environment. It looks like there's a ledge down here. I am going to try to drop down. Uh. Um. Okay, sure. Need access to this because there will be a bomb spot behind it. There's not a bomb spot behind it. Is there a bomb spot down here? There are spiders down here! Hey, everybody likes the spiders, right? They're the ones that kill you and send you back to a previous checkpoint. Have I had a checkpoint since coming in here? I don't think so! Just the bomb dispenser! Oh my gosh! How many bombs do I have left? Is there a way to check? How do I check? I can't check. Oh boy. Please be a bomb dispenser up here. I only have to destroy one more dark crystal, guys. Come on. Is it back in here? Is it down near that spider? If it is, I'll just drop down, bomb it, and move on. I don't know. Wait, is this moving? Doesn't seem to be. I think I see it down there. Is that it down there? I have to know, I have to know, I have to know. Okay, that's the last one. Hold on, hold on. I'm seeing more spiders, but no bomb dispenser. It's both a checkpoint and my supply. I don't know if I have one left or two, and I don't know if I can check unless I throw one. This is really bad. I think this is really, really bad. I... Mm. Okay, it's just gonna be go for it, go for it, go for it, go for it. No fall damage. Get up there, get up there, get up there, get up there. Okay, destroy this and I'm done. But, is there a bomb dispenser in here? There is not a bomb dispenser in here. And I think that there's going to be 10 dark gems. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, I had one left over. That's done. Okay. Here you go, Spyro. I found you a dragon egg. Light gem. 
there are 10 dark shards and I only get 10 bombs from every refill station. Maybe, if I'm lucky, if I'm very, very, very lucky, maybe in the second section, they will have thought to hopefully, possibly be generous enough to give me another bomb dispenser. I won't have to worry so much. But, there is a problem in that I have walls to destroy. So I have to destroy dark crystals and these walls with only one bomb refill station. I am going to hate my life. And in that, I am going to cut ahead. You guys will not have to endure this nightmare with me. You're welcome. I'll let you know if there is another bomb dispenser. If not, my sanity will be questionable whenever this is over. See you guys in I don't know how much time. Okay, I don't remember if it was here before or not, but there is a bomb dispenser right by the go-between point that I use to go between one area and another. Not sure if it was here before. It's forgettable, so I don't remember if it was or not. But at least they have something. They gave me a new area. Part of that new area is connected to here. The new tunnel back here. Okay. The good news, however, is that they did give me another bomb dispenser over here. So at least it's not awful. I feel like crying now. The game froze. For no reason. Absolutely no reason the game froze. Okay, so, this is probably going to seem super weird to suddenly cut to the title screen, but let me tell you about what just happened. I had to reset the game because my game crashed in the middle of a Blinks mission after an hour of playing. And in my haste to get back into the game, I hit New Game, which automatically overwrote my old game. There is nothing left. My old game, the ones that you all have been watching and hopefully enjoying up to this point, is gone. After all the work and all the collectible stuff that I've done, it's gone. Now let me say this. I have tried very hard to enjoy this game, and there are a lot of elements that I do enjoy about it. However, I have been doing my very best to do a 100% completion of this game. And I just lost everything, which means I have to do a lot of the stuff that I hated, including all the Blinks missions all over again, and I don't have the patience for it. I don't think that the end of this game, all the collectibles, the final boss, any of it, is going to be worth playing through this entire game again, either minimalist or completionist, so I'm done. I'm sorry. I hate to do this. I know it's extremely unprofessional, but I don't want to go through everything that I hated in this game again in order to get to the finale. So, this is the end. And again, I'm sorry. I've never done this with any other game before. We're just calling it quits here. I'm not going to subject myself to this game again. I don't hate this game, I very much dislike this game, and it's just no. No more. I was looking forward to this game ending so I could just be done with it, and this is it. The game has uh, crashed on me, it's not the game's fault, I know it's my fault for accidentally selecting new game and loading up what I thought was my old game file. It's my fault for overriding it. I will admit to that, I accept responsibility, 
but it's not worth it. I'm done. This game is over. I really wanted to see it through to completion. It is not worth going through everything all over again. I'm sorry that this is the finale episode. See you next time, everyone, for a different game. Again, I'm sorry, but it's just not going to happen. Take care.